Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London, Monaco, day four. I hope you enjoyed the point of view video yesterday. Um, it was a slow day yesterday of supercars, there's no denying that, although we did miss a lot of cars. Apparently a LaFerrari P1, Zonda Ref Roadster, and two 918s were out, which we managed to miss all of them. So um, even though I've been filming and spotting supercars for a good seven years or so, you always end up missing some supercars anyway. So we're heading down to the main casino square now. I'm by myself. I uh, left Dimmy at the last Bugatti that he found. And um, so far, there's uh, nothing gone according to plan. My alarm was set for 9.30 a.m. this morning, which uh, was an early start. And I didn't finish editing until 4 a.m this morning so I had about five and a half hours sleep until my alarm went off my alarm went off snoozed it snoozed it again and then now it's quarter past 12 and I've just left the uh, hotel so you can imagine how the morning went a lot of sleep a lot of catching up to do and uh, I'm in the middle of the road not gonna get run over but um, yeah let's hope that our last last why do I keep saying last last full day in Monaco is a good one. So we're gonna to head to the casino square now and uh, try and capture whatever we can on film. And there looks to be a really, really dirty 430 Spider. 430 Coupe, really dirty. SLS. Another SLS. Maserati. Another Maserati. Great. And a Ferrari in really good condition. When you think of Monaco and uh, supercars, you kind of expect exclusivity when you spend 150 grand on a supercar. Let's just hope this one hasn't got a red roof as well. So as I was filming, the exclusivity between the SLS AMGs, Roadsters, I didn't, I failed to notice this. Good car spotter. An SLR McLaren Roadster. I bet these feel pretty stupid now. Well, it's happened again. You think you're the only one with a, a tuned Panamera? in Monaco, and another one comes and parks next year. Time to use a technical. Cool. Using the technique I had earlier, there's definitely a LaFerrari 918 and a P1 and hypercar meet outside of Monaco. Anyone around? Anything want to come? Anything? No Porsches. I didn't say a Porsche meet. I said a hypercar meet. So far it's been four, five, eights, 12 C's. No, a 12 C. Not much else. Zoomed in. Finally, something to chase after. 918. No one won a 918 hunt. 
Nothing better to do. Oh look, it's another one of those dusty cars. Yeah. I think the person in the back thought was a bit weird. Just flicking the cab around to them. New GLA. Oh, the 918's coming back. Spotted already. That hunt ended quickly. <laughs> Finished. So as I shade myself, as a Lambo drives past, drives past, I've come to the conclusion that Thursdays is uh, the day of rest for the people of Monaco, and Friday is the day that they will all come out with their supercars and hypercars. So I'm here till about 6 p.m. tomorrow. So I'm gonna wake up bright and early, and come down and try and find. And hiss an engine. I've got nearly a full day of spotting. Well, a full day, and then I leave in the evening, so let's hope that I'm right with my theory. My point of view in Monaco, so bored. Hot dogs or legs? You be the judge. As you can see. Interrupted my lie down a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna get run over. <laughs> Here we go, 9 p.m. final night in Monaco with the Parada della Strada tour. Yes, nice little wrist thing, whatever Dimmy's doing. Um, we still need to test the magic T-shirt out as well. And our checkout's at 2 p.m. and then I've got to get a bus back to the airport at around half past six, I think. My flight's at half nine. So, tonight is the last night, Thursday evening. Let's see what Monaco has to offer. Because at some point during the day today, and yesterday, and the day before, there were some quiet spots. So, um, although looking at my uh, watch, we're about 36, 48 hours away from getting back in my car, which I think I'm more excited about than the last night of Monaco. Unless we see a LaFerrari and a Zonda F. But we've already seen one, haven't we? Well, I've seen a, Zonda, I've seen a LaFerrari. <laughs> Have you seen a Zonda F? Huh? Have you seen a Zonda F? I haven't seen a Zonda F. No, I thought so. Have you seen two 918s today? Yes. No, you haven't. No, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the zoom. Is it working? Now touch the... Oh, here we go, it's coming, it's coming. Done. 
Yesterday, in the point of view, we had, uh, I'm not sure whether I put it in the point of view because it was so dark, but we had Lambo, two Lambos, an R8, a Maserati and a Speciale, but today we've got a Bentley and a 458, and an A45, which isn't too bad, but this is Buddha Bar, and Mate. yes, there's something chrome and a tripod in front of it. Jesus. Another Veyron. Another Veyron. Dimmy would be happy. and an SL Black. Bad lighting. We're going for a midnight stroll. We've been out for now for five, six hours. My feet are killing. And I think Thursday, although we had high hopes for it, it's been pretty poor. Although there is a Cali there. California on the uh, not so good specced wheels. Fat five spoke. We've seen the SLS Mansory thing that's going to be either loved or hated. I personally think it's quite cool, but I don't think it needs the uh, really pointy nose. Good filming, but that was a Rolls Royce ghost. And a Rolls Royce Phantom. But yeah, Thursday has disappointed, to uh, say the least. And uh, I think we'll still stay out for a good two hours and try and catch some cars um, driving about if there is any in Monaco left. And um, then it's gonna be up early to check out of our hotel um, and to get spotting and try and catch, that's nice. I like that. Cool car. But it seems um, having come to Monaco for Top Marks last April and seeing the amount of supercars in Top Marks this April, I definitely need to come down in my car next April and then again in May for the Formula One Grand Prix. Those two are definitely on next year's checklist. And I'll say it again tomorrow video in the last video blog of Monaco 2014. I'm just saying it now, because it's on my mind. Just saying. You can carry on talking. <laughs> Yeah, because uh